Now, in our Jurassic Park building, weather has played a very important role. Now, weather in movies is always highly controlled because we want to keep the actors safe and we also need to keep all the expensive equipment safe. But you know, why am I telling you about weather? When we have Al Roker, as you saw earlier. Al, tell us more about the weather. Hi everybody, here's today's forecast for the Universal Backlot. It's going to be sunny and dry at Six Points, Texas. Cool and cloudy in Little Europe. Expect snow and sleet on New York Street, and we've got a high chance of fog and precipitation for Skull Island, Amity Island, and Isla du Blanc. That's your forecast for today. Now here's a look at what's going on in your neck of the lot. Flash flood warning. Ah, that's right. Anyways, we've set up a demonstration for you. We're going to show you how we make some of the weather in movies. So, my driver comes up, just flips the switch, and then we shoot water up into the sky, and it falls down naturally. Now, the trouble with water made on screen is that sometimes the water does not make the camera can't see it. So what we have to do is we add milk to the water so it will be seen on screen better. All right, that's good. I'm not going to turn it off now. The button on the, the button. Well, I don't have the button. Well, if we get too much rain, then we're going to get a... Uh-oh. Well, that's not going to as well as House and Community was here with Chevy Chase. And just down that road to your right hand side, it was Peru in the fourth Indiana Jones movie, Kingdom of a Crystal Skull. Also one of my favorite movies filmed out here, Three Amigos with Steve Martin, one of my favorite actors, Chevy Chase and Martin Short as well. All right, crossing the border, leaving old Mexico, coming into the old West. That's right, we're coming into Six Points, Texas, where some of the biggest cowboys in Hollywood history have gone. Cowboys such as Jimmy Stewart, John Wayne, Jimmy Fallon. This town ain't big enough for the both of us, Jimmy Fallon. Why? Well, now look here. Nice folks in this tram don't want no trouble. They just want to check out Six Points, one of the oldest sets on the Universal Life. I heard this where John Wayne and Jimmy Stewart shot a few of their westerns. That's right. That's where I aim to shoot here. Looks like we got ourselves a Mexican standoff. Lucky shot. Now what say you mount up and get out of town when we get good? Alright. Well, I'll see you again, pal. We're gonna mosey on out of here too. Now, one of the cool tricks we use with filming is that some of our cowboys sometimes are much shorter than their leading ladies. So all we do is we stick the short cowboy in front of a door that's even shorter than him. And so he looks tall. And we stick a tall woman up in a doll and the door that's even taller than her. So she looks shorter and he looks taller. It's one of the many illusions we use. We have a lot of illusions. Coming up on your left-hand side is our underwater tank, which can be ocean. In front of you to the left, that's our underwater tank. So we fill the tank up with water, we toss in a couple actors, and then we shoot it through the windows in the side of the tank. Help! Tom Hanks' dad, Ackroyd, is dragged up. Tom Hanks was back here. The big parking lot was the surface of the moon for Apollo 13, directed by Ron Howard. For the dream sequence, didn't actually make it to the moon as a movie. 